<laughs> oh, these young people today with their trousers and their ghetto blowers and their, and their fool haircuts, all the colours of a Chinaman's blanket. <laughs> it's communism, that's what it is. And where do they get all these communist ideas? Well, I'll tell you, it's from the universities and the schools, that's where. And who paid for them? I did. Yes. If we'd spent more of our taxes on a well-armed police force and less on communism, there wouldn't be so many young people today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm free! Free from the chains of a bourgeois secondary education system. Now for university, where young socially aware people can explore themselves and each other in the context of the principles of Marx and Lenin. And come the revolution, the first people to get shot will be my poor lost schoolmates who sold their souls for real estate and skiing holidays. Ha! Yuppies! <laughs> Imagine a true revolution for complete equality, led by us. I agree totally. The people united can never be defeated. Except by other people. How about a screwdriver? Oh, Susan, as a male person to a female person, there's something I want to share with you. We will strip society of its illusions And penetrate organically The soft institutions We are revolutionaries I know you'll come with me Oh Bradley The challenge that we face will shoulder the of sharing and growing and caring Each personal needs have to wait to our destination We'll be politically aware And liberation From the bourgeois guilt we share And into the bargain We'll speak fluent jargon years of political science and anti-nuclear medicine and we'll break down the doors of this capitalist oligarchy. Whatever happened to education? What about the three R's? Rioting, revolution and respect for nobody. <laughs> oh, that's what the three R's are today. And all those professors, they're all Marxists. Foreign rubbish. I'd like to line all these Marxists up and hit them with a flamethrower. You can't argue with them. They see everything in black and white. Yeah. Oh, Susan, what if we don't fit in with these committed types? What if they find out your father works for IBM and my mum took me to see Disney on ice? Oh, Brad, that's all behind us! When they find out we sent our lunch money to Nicaragua, when they see the light of revolution in our eyes, we'll fit in. <gasps> we, we fit in! Typical waking man. He tried to change society as only a dreamer can. He said, My boy, I have a most effective five year plan. Whatever it is, I'm against it. If the arbitration system recommends it, I'm against it. <laughs> I call for revolution and demand insurgency for all the toiling masses at the university and whinge about the middle class while pocketing the fee. Whatever it is, I'm against it. If someone in America invents it, I'm against it. <laughs> if children want McDonald's, I make them eat Chinese. I take them to the ball show and they'd rather be climbing trees. They try to watch Bill Cosby, I turn on the ABC. Whatever they want, he's against it. It's a victory if somebody resents it. He's I'm against it. Class, dismiss. I wanted to change the world myself once. Oh, yes. But first there was the war, and then 
When I got back, there were all those things to do about the house. <laughs> oh, that Lenin. If he was still around, he'd still be up on his box blocking the traffic and cutting our pensions. Yes, he'd be 150 years old. But once a bastard, always a bastard, I see. <laughs> we took the brain of a five-year-old and the body of a 30-year-old, but they wanted them back. So, we took the brain of a mass murderer, the eloquence of a masturbator, and the body of a 58 Pontiac, and we created a new socialist man. <laughs> he was an old socialist man, but that's what late nights and early women do for you. Does he work? Does he work? He'd be the only one around here who does. Now, put yourself in my shoes, if that's your idea of a good time. Now, do I need competition? Don't answer that. When I activate his brain, which is more than you do for me, he will lead us into a new age. Do you follow me? Yes. yes. Well, stop following me or I'll have you arrested. Now, look at this. The generator is connected to the fibrillator. The fibrillator is connected to the regulator. The regulator is connected to the knee bone. The knee bone is connected to the trombone. And we give the creature life, which is cheaper than giving him a good time. <laughs> That's the way things looked in my country this week. <laughs> <laughs> 